See, Jesus says there's a natural response to love. In John 14, verse 15, he says, if you love me, you will obey what I command. Jesus, if you love me, you'll obey what I command. Jesus has written here, look, here's the things that bother me. Here are the things that offend me. And then he says, and if you love me, here's what's going to happen. You're, you're, you're going to obey my commands. You're going to do what I ask. It becomes natural. In fact, the Bible says that when the Holy Spirit comes into you, he makes you a slave to righteousness. You ever feel that where, where, where once you become a believer and his spirit comes into you, it's like you have to do the things he loves, otherwise it bugs you. You feel guilty, don't you? See, some people have told me, they said, you know, some Christians, and maybe some of you in this room, are the most miserable people on earth. And the reason is this, is because you still are holding on to certain sins. And so whenever you sin, you don't feel totally great because the Holy Spirit is with you, right? And you feel guilty because you're a slave to righteousness, like Romans 6 through 8 explains. But then when you go to church and you try to worship, even here at this conference, you try to worship, you don't feel good at church either because your sin is still with you and you know you really haven't turned from it. And so it's like when you're in your sin, you feel guilty because the Holy Spirit's with you. And then when you're at church, you're trying to worship God, you feel guilty because your sin is with you. Because you've become a slave to righteousness. I'll try to illustrate it to you this way. I brought a couple of my favorite drinks. I love lemonade. I love frappuccino. This is the way some of you are. I really believe that you love Jesus. But there's also sins that you love. And you enjoy, you enjoy them both, but you're going back and forth, and you, you, know, you wake up in the morning and go, oh, Lord, I love you. I smoke pot. I want to get in your word today. Naked girls on the internet. I love you, brother. I hate her. You go back and forth and back and forth and you wonder why you're miserable. Because God says, look, I'm light. There's no darkness in me. And some of you, it's like you're going, well, I don't do that. I don't go back and forth with God and my sin. But maybe there's just one sin. And you just feel like, oh, that's perfect. Okay, so I'm like 90% God, and I just add a little bit of my sin, that one sin I hold on to. It's just sick. Seriously, some of you, man, this is you tonight. There's stuff you know that you're holding on to that God absolutely hates, and you're, you're wondering, man, I, I, I'm just not totally fulfilled. Man, I'm, I'm telling you, there's nothing like having things right with God. And then you ever have those times when you're so close to Him, there's nothing in the way, it's just pure Him. You've repented of everything, and you start praying to Him, and suddenly He starts answering, and He starts doing things. I don't know about you, but there's nothing like that on earth for me. When God is listening to my prayers, there are times when I'll pray something and he'll answer it immediately and I'll just be left there going, shut up. That was amazing. I just prayed to God. He just answered me. And the intimacy, the relationship where it's like, oh God, we're so right. But then there's other times when I try to add something or I try to hold on to something and it's just never right. And you're miserable. You're miserable. 